Calling stage managers, in my opinion, is kind of like piloting an airplane. We have to coordinate what they call the departments. Carpentry, wardrobe, sound, and electrics. Who goes first? What happens in sequence? And then it becomes the procedure of the show. And that's how we build the show in tech. So the ladies are lining up and warming up and we're just a couple minutes till we start. He or she, whoever's calling the show, is the one who gets the show started and the curtain goes up because they say go. The, the scenery moves around on stage because they say go. It's very specific. Here is the place where the calling stage manager works. And you can see that there are four views of the stage plus a very large screen that's the stage. And the caller is watching all of their different monitors so that they're able to see that things are clear or a stage manager on the deck is giving a clear to the calling stage manager. The stage is so large, it's very hard to see every, every detail, especially underneath the stage. For example, elevator one is clear in the shop. And so the, the shop stage manager will say elevator one is clear in the shop. And then the calling stage manager will say elevator one go and it'll start to rise from the shop level, which is one level below the stage and start to rise exactly at the right beat of music. And not only the stage managers, but the crew as well. They have seconds to move a light to get it out of the way so the rockets get exit or it has to be in a new position so that it can light them correctly. So off stage is as choreographed as on stage.